first off, uh, there's nothing wrong with using it as a mantra. Uh, my experience of people when they begin begin koans, and usually beginning koans means the mu koan for us, that uh, 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 as I was told, of necessity we're given insufficient instructions. And so we have to find our own way into the practice. And repeating it over and over again is not a bad way to, to begin to allow it to seep into our hearts and uh, our bodies and to, to begin to encounter it. Absolutely, there will be mechanistic moments if one does that. But if, you know, another way that people do it is to try and analyze it and understand the, uh, uh, I love that we have the dog here for us, for us uh, if we're going to do the Moo Koan. I hope the camera will catch the dog at some point. Uh, okay. Loud. Loud. Okay. Loud dog. Uh, uh, there's your Moo, moo Koan. And, and so that's another way that we try to find it is, oh, it's right there. Oh, it's right here. Um, we need to to look, or or is it, or is the is it simply is that it, is this it, is this it? Well, you know, we 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 um, um, we have a million ways in, and uh, um, to privilege one or to judge one uh, too quickly is not going to be particularly uh, helpful if 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 this is your practice. Now, um, uh, people I deeply admire say that you can you can take on koan instruction without having a teacher present. I am less comfortable with that assertion. Uh, in my experience, uh, koan work is genuinely valuable within uh, the context of several things. Uh, one is within the context of regular zazen, of, of, of shikantaza, pulling koans out and, and, and simply exploring them without um, that matrix of zazen um, too frequently becomes an intellectual exercise. In fact, I think that kind of approach was, was part of the decline of koan introspection um, in, um, in both China and Japan uh, that required a revival of pull, pulling it back into the, uh, into the training uh, session. For our purposes, still, if you want to do that, it's great. There's a couple of good books that kind of guide you into how to play with koans uh, um, in genuinely profitable ways. But as the path into the heart, as the way into knowing who it is that we actually are, um, um, yeah, uh, you need a teacher, you need a guide, you need a coach, you need somebody who has actually done this kind of discipline. Uh, um, so that means it's not just any Zen teacher, but a Zen teacher who is uh, formally engaged koan introspection practice. Uh, um, there are many valuable ways koans can be engaged, but for this per primary purpose of looking into who we really are, uh, finding a, a, a guide that, that um, works for you, and, and there are mysterious uh, affinities involved. You don't know until you meet the person. Uh, mm. And um, so you should, the, the, the bad news is there aren't a lot of koan teachers uh, in North America, a much smaller subset of the larger Zen universe. The good news is there are enough of them. And uh, if this really is uh, your heart practice, you'll find that guide. Um, it just means working at it a little bit.